Hey guys, um, so I get asked about uh, about brazing a little bit on my Instagram or Facebook, um, and so I thought I'd do a, a video on um, on how I do it. So I try to. Um, this is a frame, a, a rig that I'm building at the moment, a little YJ. Um, I try to achieve a really fine, fine little little. Um, I guess uh, weld or, or join um, or braze job. Uh, it's um, super strong, uh, super neat, and um, works really well. This is 316 tube, Bundy tube or brake line. Um, that's what I generally use. Okay, so a few things you need magnet, flux, matte gas. Rat's tail file and um, um, brazing rods. Okay, so the brazing rods I use, uh, I'm in Australia, so uh, it's it's a BOC product, Pro Silver 45T. It's got a lot of silver content. I like these because it's um, it's it, it it melts at a a low heat and it flows like a champion. So it's expensive. I think it's about 100 bucks for five rods, but that's because of the high silver content, um, which helps with the, the nice flow that you get. So that's my preferred choice. Um, there's many other ways, or many other, I guess, products you can use. Uh, flux coated rods. Um, yeah, I, I use this because I have great success with it. So I stick with it. Um, okay. So, um, notching, that's, so one important thing to me is a good silver content rod and notching. So notching basically is, is getting rid of that gap. So obviously you've got a square edge on a, on a, on a, on a round tube and meeting up with another round tube. So, you know, you, you need to, there's a gap there. You can either fill it um, or you can notch, notch it out or shape it and then um, and really let the let the uh, the brazing work for you now if I mean you know if just because there's a gap and you fill it with with um, with braze doesn't necessarily mean that it's stronger um, it's 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 not so spend the time do a notch shape it you, you'll get a better job um, I sometimes actually use an angle grinder well, actually most of the time using an angle grinder just to to give, uh, just put a little cut in there. I'm a fabricator and I use an angle grinder every day. So I'm confident with them. They're in a big aggressive thing for such a small little bit of tube, but you know, you could use a Dremel, you could use a little hacksaw. Uh, for this purpose, I'll just use a, just start off with the, with the rat's tail. So once you get started, I'll go left and right a little bit just to open up that, that, that gap. Get a sandpaper to get rid of that burr. I always find that it flows better without a burr, if it's nice and clean. Um, and just give that a quick marry up and see what that looks like. I reckon I could take a little bit more off. But the more, the, the more time you spend on these joins, I guarantee you, the easier and the better job you'll get. It's all worth it. It's like anything, preparation, right? That looks pretty good to me. So, now get yourself set up. This is always a bit tricky. Get the old magnets happening. Um, So, um, the other important thing is, is, is position. Um, you gotta be relaxed. You know, I'm right-handed, so I'll have my brazing rod on my right hand. And, um, and I'll have my arm supported somewhere um, on the bench or wherever, on a, on a, on a, bit, of, on a bit of timber. Whatever, whatever works for you. But if, you, if your arm's just up here moving around and you're trying to 
you got your you got your flame happening and you're trying to you're trying to feed that rod in and you're not supported well it's going to go everywhere you're going to break that join it's just it's a mess so you it's important that you you're relaxed and your um and, and your arm is supported um now what i'll do is i'll put a little bit of um oh there's my dog g'day mate i'll put a bit of um flux on the end of my rod you don't need a lot you don't need like a big glob a big glob on the end like that you just need a tiny little bit really just like that um so i'll, I'll sit there and basically i'll, I'll heat up uh, even uh, heat up the, the joint evenly with the flame and then i'll ever so slightly just dab that rod gently onto the join at a particular heat um, and and that rod you'll feel it dissolve uh, and that's it that's 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 basically as soon as you feel that dissolve you just pull away um, it's it doesn't take long it's within a second or two it'll just start to dissolve and you don't have to put a lot of pressure you don't have to like hold it down there aggressively you just and, and this is the tricky part is it and this is why you need to be positioned in, in uh, you know in the right way so that you can just you can just have control over that rod and then just ever so slightly dab that uh, dab that rod on that joint gently and then as soon as you feel it dissolving you just pull away and that and that's it so let's let's give it a crack so crank up the crank up the heat Good. Bit of flux on the end there. Evenly heat up that, um, that join. As you sort of see there, it's going quite red. Just like that. And then I'll start just slowly dabbing that. You can see the, the changing colour. Just, and there you go. Just like that. Dissolved. Now it happened. Obviously, it happened. It happens really quickly, uh, and that's why you need to be in a good position and and um, um, and, and be relaxed. Which sounds quite weird when you're brazing or doing welding. I, I do a lot of TIG welding, and I find that's really important. <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> um, let that cool down for a few. For a few uh, for half a minute or so otherwise that'll just break apart really easy if it's still too hot I reckon that should be fine now and just pull that puppy down and then I'll just get a bit of sandpaper here this is pretty poor sandpaper but for the purpose of the of the video it gets rid of all the crud the bright the flux and crap on on here. And the other time consuming part is, is the cleaning up of course, but it's all well worth it when you have that nice join. All right, let's just give that a, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. I don't know if you can see that at all. I hope you can. Um, there's a, like a, there's a, a, you can actually see the flow there around that, around that notch. That's exactly what you're looking for. So that is a tiny little weld, Small, the smallest little bit of, the smallest weld <laughs> that I know of anyway um, but it's so simple and that is that is damn strong like oh, yeah look at that that's not going anywhere so there you go pretty simple so like I said important things good silver content rods um, be relaxed be in a good position and notch the tube. Spend the time, notch the tube, get it spot on and you'll get some really nice brazing tube work. Um, I also get asked 
Well, I should say, if you want me to do a video on, on building a, a hoop um, or bar, uh, sorry, or, or do um, show you how to um, bend tube or actually, you know, bend a, a hoop of, of uh, some description at a certain size, which is always a bit tricky, um, put some comments below and I'll, um, I'll do another video. Thanks for watching.